anyway let's pick up where we left off it says 14 percent, but that's specifically for that stage though like finding all secrets and everything so i don't think that's not overall game um i don't think i'm sure this has a lot of extra time if you go back and find every little secret but as of now it seems to be moving pretty fast but i don't know <clears throat> so okay last we left off we just finished fighting a boss and i believe we got a keystone up here and i think we we're trying to collect four i'm kind of trying to remember oh it's awfully dark you know what huh how's that much better completely forgot my light like i said last minute i'm in a hurry so i forgot everything okay now i gotta remember how to play all right Let's see oh i see something down here oh this is a uh, map map stone or whatever they're called help reveal more of the map every single detail okay um basically um you haven't missed much i mean there really hasn't been much to say so it's like it's basically start off in this like world that hasn't really explained much of it like you you know it's one of those that ah oh, crap um it's one of those that i'm kind of you know not totally sure myself what's going on so there was a this really round furry dude and uh he found this uh there's like a thunderstorm or something and um this little guy appeared and he went and helped him, went and got him. And was like taking care of him like a pet. And um, uh, basically, um, from what I gather, something's happening to where like all the light source in the world, is, in this world is kind of like starting to go away. And every, everything was like dying off um, to the point where all their food was like not being able to grow so they couldn't eat. And um, so the, the big guy, big round furry guy, uh, got food for um, for this little guy and didn't eat himself and eventually he died so like he killed over and um, now it's got sort of this I think story that like um, this little guy appeared because he's kind of like the savior or something who's supposed to like fix the whole uh, problem of like losing the, all, the, the world losing all of its like light source or you know something like that um, it's kind of abstract. I mean, I don't know if I'm like not just not fully getting every little thing, but that didn't seem to go into a ton of detail. But um, there was also an owl. I think the reason it it is sweet and sad. It was kind of like um, it, the the beginning of it was really sad actually, because it's kind of like, it had like an up type of feel, like the movie Up. So it's like. It just started off real nice and then went really depressing. But um, um, the other thing is there was this big owl that I think is the reason why. I think he, he while the light source and everything was dying out, there's this tree. And I think that was like the source of everything. And um, when it was all dying out, he went and uh, this owl went and grabbed this like light source out, the, the, out of the tree to save it. And I think that that was us. I think he's the reason why, like, like we're here and we're like the last remaining living thing out of that tree or whatever. So, I mean, I, I get from what I gather, it, like I said, it doesn't. I don't remember going into too great a detail, but I may have just missed something in the text because it does have text. crap i forgot about this whole saving mechanic so that's another thing about this game so far the hardest thing about this game is the fact that um anyone used to having auto save which is like everyone at this point you know you have to manually save your spot wherever you're at um and you have to do it by using up this meter so at the bottom of the screen here 
bottom of the screen here, you have this meter that's like building experience points so that you can uh, purchase upgrades. And um, uh, definitely go back and watch part one. This game's absolutely beautiful. It is. It like like I was saying yesterday. It looks like a painting, and it, and it's really nice to look at. Um, but this meter here, you build that up, and you get like uh, experience points from that. And if you get a uh, one or two or whatever, you can use those to upgrade your uh, your character's like moves and stuff. <clears throat> and these other things on the left and right. So this one on the left, I I've been calling. Oh, it's the wrong way. It's okay. This one right here, I've been calling cabbage heads because they look like cabbage heads to me. And these are lettuce heads over here. And um, <clears throat> the lettuce heads are your life and the cabbage heads are like your attack power. And uh, but you also, in order to save the game, you have to have cabbage heads in order to save your game because you have to create this like um, little save state basically in, to, to go in and you have to have those in order to do it. Um, no, it's pretty cool. I mean, I actually think that's interesting for like, I mean, most games don't do like manual saving anymore, you know? So it's kind of neat that this one's like, ah, oh, crap, that, that, that this one kind of does that, you know? Not doing too good. Okay, gotta get back in that groove here. Oh, God. It's a pretty fast moving game. But um the combat itself is like not much yet, but I think you have to like the more you upgrade, you'll get different stuff. Uh yeah, I just I just now added that. I fig I was I forgot I was going to do that cuz I thought eh, maybe that'll uh maybe that'll help it a little bit or something, but um to see other people with those I need to figure out whenever I need to figure out how people like whenever uh, a lot of people that I see that, that that stream whenever they do their little like announce like put out a tweet or something like that like an announcement with a link um I don't know how they do this but the link will like specifically show like a custom thumbnail of what they're playing like they made their own thumbnail um you know but uh, like of the game that they're playing but um i don't know i don't know how, i don't know how to do that every time i send a link it's just it's just a link and it's just like a picture of like my uh, twitch thing so i need to figure out how to do that because it just always looks the exact same it's just that drawing of me nah, i don't go for it i need to quit messing up here All right. No, you're good. You don't distract me. I'm just mess. I'm just trying to get back used to this because uh, it is definitely one of those games that, like, if you don't keep playing it, you'll probably like lose the the feeling. You know, it's it's got a lot of momentum. You kind of got to keep playing. So far, I like it. <clears throat> I do like the game so far, but I'm not like, I'm not like super impressed. Like considering all the things, the constant praise I heard from it so far, I'm, it's just okay. I mean, it's a nice, it's very pretty and it's a nice little game, but I'm not like blown away so far. Yeah, you gotta definitely gotta stay in the flow. Okay, so now see, I have the cabbage heads down there. You see that on the bottom left? So now I can do this. That saved my game. And I can also go in there to check on my little uh, abilities, which I don't have a, um, I haven't got a new point yet for abilities, so it doesn't really matter, but that's how you do that. And you have to do that in order to save, otherwise you will respawn at your last save point, uh, at your last save spot. Sometimes you get a checkpoint, like sometimes it happens, but very rarely. It's like when something significant happens, like a big cutscene or something, then you'll get like, then you'll definitely get like a, a checkpoint, but it doesn't happen all the time. Come on. Okay, kill him. Hmm. 
I wanted to get that. <laughs> Ancestral tree. Liru lay here. She was swift, agile, used to cut through the air. Yeah, periodically I've been finding these little trees here. And what you do, you kind of absorb this light like this. And it will like, yeah, give you a new like um, ability. So that's kind of how you have to find like, uh, like for one of them, it was a wall jump. Now I'm getting a double jump. So yeah, I, which I definitely need the double jump. No, it doesn't make them jump much higher, but I guess it's just high enough. Yeah, it'll just be just high enough. But uh, so then you also have this uh, little map screen. <clears throat> this is um, basically like, I mean, it's got like the, you know, Metroidvania maps screen style, basically. But um, you can keep going back to it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I like the little upgrades of how you have to uh, get upgraded to uh, to make it to certain areas. You have to get new little abilities and things like that. And uh, there was some backtracking, like that's something I noticed yesterday was there was quite a bit of backtracking with certain things, but none of the backtracking so far um, seems like none of none of like all the, the big backtracking seems like um, for necessary things. They all seem like it seems for the most part, the backtracking is just for optional things. That's what it seems like. So, so far, that's what it's been. But uh, I, I don't know, though. We'll see. I, oh, these guys are crazy. And they make little tiny babies. Yeah, yeah, those get me a lot. Yeah, because I can't do the whole... I, I don't like when backtracking is like... I don't, I don't mind backtracking to some degree, but... Um, I don't like backtracking to like just grab one little thing that's necessary. I, I like the optional, you know. I mean, I probably sound like I'm contradicting myself with some of my favorite games, you know, but um, because, you know, some of my favorite games of all time have backtracking, like, you know, but they're never like, they never seem like too. I don't know. I guess it all depends on the game. If the game's like super fun, you're probably not going to mind backtracking. You know, it's not going to be a big deal because you're having fun doing it. But um, the game has to be like really good for me to not mind, like like really good. And like I said, I like this so far, but I'm not like I'm not blown away by it by any means. Yeah, it definitely feels like a time waster. It's just it's kind of like just adding uh, oh, I got another um, cabbage head. Nice. Uh, did I already go? Oh, I've already been this way. What am I doing? That's going back the way I came. Let's check the map. Okay. It's time to get out of here. We can go this way. Now and start working our way back, I guess. I, I love the mobility though in this game like everything moves really smooth and really fast and um, that's the best part so far that's the best part of the game it's just how it play it just it just handles really really well uh, create a soul lane can tap okay so now I got another point I can add to my little list here most pickups are on the map I don't really want that one but it's I'm gonna go ahead and get this one because it's that one is pretty good so and you have to you have to build them in a row so I'm gonna go ahead and make my way towards that one but this one just shows that item pickups will show on the map I don't know how much I really care about that I guess it's kind of convenient hmm pizza's finally done I'm about to stuff my face okay well go stuff it that gross pizza Okay, let's see. I wish I could roll down that. I'm thinking so, oh God. 
Uh, I guess I gotta just drop down there. Cool. Huh, that was close. Ah, <clears throat> uh, R2. Okay, right trigger. Let's see, what are we doing here with this? Okay. I'm not worried about it. Um, well, that didn't work very well. Hmm. Try going the other way. All right. It was grape juice or grape soda. That's what it reminds me of grape soda. I had a dream once when I was a kid that I was like in a room. I was in this room that was like wood paneled, like big room. And um, there was um, there was all types of like candy and like toys around there, but it was very dimly lit. Like it was a really dark lit room. <clears throat> so like you could barely, you could, you could see, but it was, it was like, you know, you know what it looks like when you're like, um, really early in the morning and the only light source is coming from like the sun that's barely rising you know and so it's very dark darkly lit you know what i mean um yeah that's total grape juice like or grape soda they knew what they were doing um <laughs> but uh <laughs> but yeah anyway it's like when when it, it's so dimly lit because of like the the sun is just barely up and that's like the only light source in the room you know what i mean well that's how this whole room looked in my dream it was like it, you know this, there was like wood panel there's like a couple like columns in the middle you know holding up i guess to, to make the room more sturdy or whatever but uh but anyway um i was in, in this room and there was like all types of like candy and toys and stuff like train sets and um, just anything you can imagine was in there and there was a and there was a grape soda f like waterfall in, in there and it was really cool there was like all types of candy and stuff like a different you know candy machines and stuff like that and it was just all there for the taking but there was like a small like a small personal size little like waterfall fountain of grape soda And I'm not, I don't know why. I'm not a huge grape soda fan. I, I mean, I like grape soda. I mean, I just, I never, I rarely drink it, but I really, I, I do like it. But for some reason, yeah, I had, a, I had a dream about it and it was very strange. part's pretty cool get a little more challenging I guess look at that guy scared yeah scared like a little punk you don't like at all really brought kindness and hope to his heart okay But, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's one of those that's like, uh, it's one of those I don't have often. Like, I like it when I have it, but I, I tend to forget about it. You know what I mean? Remember the element of waters, uh, rest high atop the, uh, Jinzo tree. We shall bring back the waters. Let us return immediately. Dang, it just skipped me ahead. See, I think when you go back, well, actually, I think I do need to get there. Just marking it on the map. Um, toggle player. Yeah, objectives. Where am I at? So I got to go up. So yeah, it will put me back. But, um, yeah, I think all this area now, it's like not 100% not finished. It's just like if you want to find secrets or not. Um, which anyone new to, uh, anyone new to me or 
or the channel or anything like that, or maybe anybody not haven't not familiar with Portal Path or anything like that, will know probably know this that I hate side quests. I hate unnecessary crap. Like I, it's like I don't see the point. Maybe end game stuff is okay, but as far as side quests go, I can't stand them. Especially when it's just like, oh, you couldn't beat that boss. You're too low level. You maybe you should have done the side quest. It's like, well, maybe you should have made them fucking main quest then. If I needed them so bad. But, you know, that's just me. I mean, a good game doesn't punish you for not doing side quests. It's, you know, strictly optional. But I've played games like that before where it's just like, you don't do every little thing. Then it just makes it way harder. Stuff specifically categorized as side quests, you know. Yeah, I don't like, I don't, I am strictly business. I don't, I don't want all that extra crap. I just always felt like if it's really that important, it would be part of the main game. Like, that's how I feel. But, obviously, yeah, I'm sure there's exceptions to that rule. I'm sure there's exceptions. I sure, I'm sure I have games where I like extra stuff, but it's like, I don't know. I can't really think of one, though, to be fair. I like a game to have a lot of things in it, like a lot of stuff in the game, you know, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's a good point. If they're side quests, they should be totally optional. Yeah. And like I said, mo most, most of the cases that I've seen that I, they, they are, you know, but, but it, it does happen. Like, it does happen sometimes where that's not the case where it's like well it all always is optional let me rephrase that it all it all always is optional but um i guess the way i'm thinking of it is if you if you don't do the side quest the game should not reflect negatively on you because you didn't do the side quest the side quest should help you become overpowered if that's what you want but it's like the main game should that should just be like normal mode if you want to do it side quest to come just crazy overpowered then you should have that option too but i played some where it's like if you don't do all your side quests don't do all that shit and it's basically like playing it on hard mode which is stupid i don't i don't i think it's dumb i like games to have a lot of content i like games to have a lot of stuff like in them but i don't i don't i want it uh, most of it to be like optional you know and just kind of free form improves the radius and damage to the charge sure um they should add to the game not take away from it. yeah like exactly like i know a lot of like so i mean an, an example of where i'm like kind of in the middle of that is um like symphony of the night for example um symphony of the night has a lot of extra stuff that is unnecessary you know and a lot of people actually dislike it for that reason because it will have a it has a lot of extra crap that you can do or items to find that aren't required to complete the game but that's what i like about it it's literally optional you don't have to do it like you can play a game however you want it's not but it has a ton of stuff it has a ton of stuff but um you know i think that's kind of the difference of what i'm trying to say all right, let's see. Where are we going? Okay, we're going the right way. Damn those things. God, those suck. Holy crap. Whoa, whoa. How, how the hell did I fall down in there? Oh, okay, I see. It just depends on the game, really. I mean, I doubt that pizza tastes heavenly. You got gross mics. So sick. Okay, insert. Uh, press up to enter. Okay. <sighs> Wake up. Okay. Dry it up. Okay, we shall restore the flow. The Jinso trees heart must be found. Uh, 
Must be what did I say? Must be found. What? Hard to find. Let's see. Ah, little portals. That's pretty neat. All right, let's uh. Mike knows what's up. He makes a fine pizza, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, well, you know... I don't know if I trust your opinion about that. Out of all the frozen pizzas, I don't know. Mike's just... I don't know, I don't know about that shit. Out of all the other options out there, you're going with Mike's? Over DiGiorno? Come on. I never get enough sleep. <laughs> I don't think so. Like, oh god. I mean, it's not because of my own... I do it to myself, but... Oh my god, are you shitting me? That was stupid. Um, But, I don't know. I, I just... I, I think I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'll be fine. I just... It's still early for me. I'm yawning because it's still early for me. <sighs> oh shit. That was a bad move. Alright, let's try it again. Okay. Charge it up. Ah. The control's almost too good. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. Like, every tiny press, like, registers really good. So sometimes I overshoot it or overcorrect my, uh, myself and end up causing myself more problems. Okay. Mm. I think the thing is I need to start remembering to double jump more often. Sometimes I'm not double jumping and I keep I forget that I have that available you know hmm, they're on a slightly different pattern it seems like it's kind of strange ah okay I went the wrong way that's what it was gotta go through the portals oh you see what I'm saying I that was I overshot that because I didn't let off like at the perfect time that sucks uh, it's got a nice flavor. Worried about it. Just, no, I'm fine. I'm good. All right, here we go. Get that. Boom. All right. What the fuck? What's happening? Oh, I got to hold it. I got you. I get it. Um, oh, that's just a secret up there. Okay. I thought that looked suspiciously low hanging, that branch. Okay. All right. Pretty good. Ah, fuck. How did that. Hmm. Let's try this again. I didn't think that thing would bounce. I gotta. I guess I just have to use that to bounce me the whole way. I didn't think it uh, long enough to reach. Oh, come on. Is there any reason? Uh, I think it's kind of strange how... I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, is there any reason that they need to take that many hits? I don't know. I guess it's just to give, to give you a reason to upgrade. You know, but I don't know. Okay, here we go. All right, back in business. I right, have to get this again. Yeah, yeah. Everything comes back too. It doesn't remember shit that you picked up. All right, let's go ahead and save spot there. Yeah, it'll reach. Okay. Wondering what's the teleport hole there. I feel like it'd go that way. I'm gonna find out what this does. Huh. Okay. Well, it'd be nice to know where that came out of. Kind of no really no indication. I guess you just gotta jump in and find out. Hmm. What just hit me? That was bullshit. 
There's nothing there to hit me. What the hell? That sucked. Ow. Okay. Well, there's another direction. Can I break this? No, I can't. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go down here. Hmm. Ah, interesting. Okay. So now I gotta do that again, I guess. To un to unlock the Oh, I see. I gotta well, no. Hmm, puzzle. Let's see here. Push this off. There. So now it's back up there. Hmm. Did the spider get you as you went through the portal? No, it, I no, I think it, it acted like I hit spikes. I think it kind of glitched up or something and like thought that I had hit the spikes. I think that's what it was. So. Mm, oh, I see what you got to do. Got to get this one. Got gotcha. you. Yeah, push that off. Then put this one over here. Ow. Okay, I thought that really hurt me. It looked like it did damage me, almost squished me or something. Come on. There we go. That should do it. All right. Game saved. Cool. Yeah, see, sometimes it saves. Oh. Oh, a boss fight. You don't say. Get out of here with that shit. Oh, I... I was ready for that hit. That's crazy. I was very much ready to dodge that. Man, I don't put it there. Come on. Yeah, so basically, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I also have a charge move. Uh, my attack that I have with that little orb, I can also charge it to make a uh, like spirit bomb that will damage things in like a certain radius, which is what I'm doing basically here to, to kill that thing. Open up. But yeah, I, th I think that was a glitch just now. I think that's what that was. Um, I think it just, it registered, it thought I hit a vine or something as I went through. I'm, I'm guessing that's all it was. So, hmm. Um, no, I'll go back. Okay, so I gotta figure out how to do this right here. Um, okay. Got that. Ow. And then I jumped right into the fucking vine. Oh, well. Oh, crap. I didn't save. See, now I gotta fight the boss again. <laughs> I gotta remember to save. Okay. Here we go. Nothing to it. Yeah, it comes in handy, especially with the uh, those spiky blob ones that like, uh, you know, create the babies, like the small baby ones. It definitely comes in handy for that shit. Oh, come on. How did I miss that? Okay. There we go. Um, I sometimes have a hard time, like... Where am I? Okay, I'm at the bottom. I, I have a hard time keeping track of my character sometimes when I go through those portals. Um, since she's so small. Okay. Uh, yeah, like right there. I was like, where, where was I at? 
I'm getting an extra one. Oh, it takes four. Okay. This particular door takes four of those. There we go. We're good. Yeah, she's just really tiny. I thought it would have... It's kind of crazy how small the sprite is. Or sprite. It's not a sprite. But, you know, how small the... The character is in this game. Oh, I'm already at another tree. He dashed through the air, listened to his voice, and he will... Okay. So I'm going to get like an air dash or some shit. Or a fly or something. You learned bash. Oh, okay. I was, I was way off. Flying through the air, I assumed it was going to be some sort of like agility type of thing. Um, hold triangle near lanterns uh, or enemy projectiles, then aim in the direction you'd like to leap. Uh, projectiles will be redirected to the opposite direction. What? So. Like. Oh, I see. And you have to like. Okay, so you can't hold it forever. Like, if you keep holding it, eventually it's gonna, it's gonna like do its thing. And that arrow moves pretty quick. Use uh, bash attack. We can use on enemies. Use trying. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I need to go back because I basically need to use this enemy to. Ah, uh, wow. I hate that. I actually hate the way that feels. Okay, there. That's a little better. That's going to take some getting used to. It just feels kind of... It, it feels pretty damn awkward. And it's... Oh, how convenient that it's pointing down at the fucking spikes. I, I, I can't turn it back... Okay. Why Why is that one only pointing down and I can't turn around? Why, like, the lanterns and everything else is pointing up. Why is that one only going down? I'm, I'm confused. Maybe I'm using that wrong? Oh, good. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I hate this fucking mechanic already. I'm really hating this part. Um, maybe it wouldn't be so bad if the fucking, like, the biggest problem that I'm having with it is that it go, it turns so fast. Like, stopping it in time is kind of a pain. Okay, there. That one's pretty good. If it kind of sets me up in the right direction, just at the beginning, like, at least in the, like, vicinity of the proper direction, it's not too bad. But I don't know how the fuck that's, like... And now this one just points me like in the right direction. I don't know. I'm, kinda, I'm very confused by this. Um, I, now I want to go down so I can get that thing. I guess that's not how you get that. Hmm. I can't spear on that thing either. Like you specifically have to do something to go through it, like ram to like do the bash through it. I think, but it didn't seem to work. Okay, I, I think I need the uh I need like that little thing that shoots the projectiles. Let me try this again. Like Oh, that didn't work either. Oh, wait a minute. It's shooting the... Okay, so it's shooting it up. So maybe I can go with it. No, because if you it goes the opposite direction. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, so I have to hit the... I get it. Well, how did that not work before? I already went up there, though. So how did that not work? That's very strange. Um. So right here, I need to, like, basically send one that way. And I died. Okay. Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake. What, what determines the direction that the fucking arrow starts? That's like... Shouldn't it just be... I, I'm very confused about that. Hmm. 
uh, okay so i think you just hit up and down and guide it with up and down and it works just fine yeah i think that's the trick i think that's the trick i'm hitting too many fucking directions like i'm trying to actually hit the direction i want it to go and that's not what you have to do you just kind of have to use like I guess I'm just gonna have to make sure I use up and down, like specifically if I'm moving up and down, like try not to use the other directions. Cause I mean, I mean, duh, right? Like I, I know that makes like, like obvious sense, but what I'm like, I'm trying to rotate the arrow with the whole D pad and you just hit up or down, it'll rotate itself. You know, that's where I'm screwing up. Seems like it would take some good use. Yeah, it totally is. Like, I, I don't, I don't know if I particularly like that, but I'm sure once I get used to it, it won't be too bad, hopefully. I just wish there was a uniform, uh, I wish there was some kind of uniform, like, place with which when you jump, like, in a direction that it would point at. I don't like, like, I don't, I really don't like guessing, like, having to guess which way it's going to be pointing at the start, you know what I mean? Come on. Well, he's not coming over here. Okay. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Ow. What? Man, I didn't touch that shit. That fucking sucks. I swear to God, I didn't touch that. Oh, save, you idiot. Save. It's so easy to not to, to forget to save in this game. Okay. Okay. Get that. All right. All right, I think in order to get that, you have to like, basically make it go that way and then kind of beat it, that beat it there. That's incredibly difficult, but, mm. or you just make it go and then, okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay, that's how you did it. I was wondering how to break that open earlier. I was having a, I swear I didn't touch that thorns that second hit. The, the first and third one I did, but I swear I didn't touch them. It didn't look like it, at least. Come on. See, sometimes it points just right in the direction. Like, it's kind of like at least aimed in the in the direction I need it to go, at the very least. But it's like... Sometimes it doesn't. It's like the complete opposite, but there's no way of really... Like, telling... Um, until... It's too late, basically. <sighs> God, I hate that. I hate that so much. It's so awkward. It is such a weird mechanic. Like, it just feels so fucking str Oh my God. It's like, okay, so the it, it's falling. So basically, from what I gather, the arrow is pointing. No, never mind. I was gonna say the arrow is pointing in the trajectory with which like you're falling or as like ascending. Like, if you're falling and you hit it, it's, the arrow's going to be pointing where you're going. Or if you're ascending up in the air and hit it, it'll be, like, kind of pointing. But I don't know. It doesn't feel like that's what's happening here. But I guess it kind of is. Uh, okay. That's freaking awkward. Oh, no. Or I'm overthinking it, and I'm just not getting, like, the simple thing that it's trying to tell me but i think that's how it works i i think it's basically like yeah how it works oh yeah i need to save thank you for reminding me let me hit this thing mm. and i'll go up over here i'll save right here okay i i do know i i do know i have heard that this game gets pretty tough like i i know that for a fact um if that's because of that fucking weird mechanic, like, well, that'll be 
little disappointing, but I mean, if it's just because of that. Shit, that was my bad. Like, you know, it's like, it's... The mechanic itself is like, is, is fine. It's like, okay, this is an interesting mechanic. But um, the difficulty should come from the, the, the stage like design and puzzles with which you use that mechanic and not from the fucking wonky nature of how it works. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm getting at. Uh, the heart of the Ginso tree once, uh, Ginso tree once kept the element of water safe, but now it's corrupted. All uh, foul and decayed. Okay. We have to help it. Cure it and cleanse all the blight by removing corruption uh, on both of the sides. Sounds like this heart tree heart's a libertarian. You know what I'm saying? Ah, fuck. Okay. <laughs> and by libertarian, I mean the, the redneck libertarian. Hell, they're both corrupt. They're both wrong. Both sides. That's why I agree with everything the right says. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. Oh, stupid. Duh. I just got that new mechanic. What am I doing? <laughs> I completely forgot about that already. Uh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. Oh, I got a, I got an ability. Okay, I'll, I'll get that here in a minute. I ain't worried about it right now. Hmm. Let's see. Come on, spit something at me. That's what I was waiting for. Oh shit, the bed. Okay. Get out of there. Fucking spider. Fucking hell. I hate how they just hop like that. Not too big of a deal when you're in, like, closed off area, but. Or, or I mean, open area. When you get closed off, it's a little bit different. Oh, look at that. <laughs> There's a save, like, ruin right there. But I still love that Mary Jane. That's right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've I've had that conversation before with with self-proclaiming libertarians who are like they're both wrong. I mean they're both crazy or nail both sides of them are evil and then they and then they proceed to do like everything uh, very conservative and Republican it's like well and support those people it's like how is it I mean why would you do that I don't understand like I thought you thought they were both bad uh, okay, here we go. I don't know. It's like acknowledging that you don't want to identify as something, but you'll support it. You know what I mean? It's like acknowledging that it's it's something bad enough that you don't want to identify as it, but you're still going to support it, you know? So it's, it's getting to support something without the guilt or without supporting something without the, uh, with the acknowledgement that, um, you know... Everybody has to acknowledge you of what you, you know, realize is wrong. <laughs> you know? You know what I'm trying to say? It's just like, it's so stupid. Oh my God. It's like, if you can't, if you can't say it, like, if you can't say it, then you know it's wrong. You know what I mean? Like, when asked a question about, about, it's like when, uh, it's like when, um, what was it? Um, was I watching that with like uh, I think it was all gas no brakes where he was at one of those um proud boy uh he was at, like at a proud boy rally and he was like asking him if they so if, if he's like asked this one dude if he like supported um the black lives matter movement like the you know and he was like well I don't need, I don't want to comment it's like well then like you know by not commenting like you know by by not saying yes I support them like you know that you're wrong then but you but you know that because you won't comment <laughs> like if you if you know that it's wrong enough that you can't make a comment then 
you're fucking then you're wrong i mean like you know what i'm saying like it's such bullshit anyway off topic i'm just saying that just shit just pisses me off though it's like i'm not gonna support them but i'm also not going to acknowledge that i don't support them because i know i'm wrong i know it's a wrong it's 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 shitty to not support that movement well but i'm i'm still not going to but i'm not going to acknowledge that i won't I don't want to look like a racist. You know? You know what I mean? It's fucking dumb. Anyway, has nothing to do with Ori and the Blind Forest. Thank God. Otherwise, I'd really fucking hate this game. I don't hate this game, by the way, actually. That sounds coming off like I hate it. I'm just frustrated by this weird mechanic. It's like, it's fucking with my head. Yeah, that's a, oh yeah, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice the moon. It looks great. If you're, yeah, if you're afraid to say it, maybe it's not a good... Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I'm getting at. Um, I don't know how I got off on that topic. I guess it was... Oh, it was a libertarian thing. It was just like... It, most A lot of libertarians, what I'm getting at, especially around here, that self-proclaim libertarians, they're just Republicans who don't want to admit they're Republicans. Like, that's pretty much it. And they like weed. That's basically what libertarians are to a lot of people around this this part of the country. Or probably just a lot of the country. You know? Because, like, they don't do anything... They don't do anything different. They don't support anybody different. I thought that was in the background. I tried to jump through that because I thought, like, it kind of looks like it's in the background. Okay. I'm at a little bit of a... Confusing spot here. Let me look at my map. I got off on a whole tangent... And now I don't know mo know where the hell I was. So let's see this. Okay, so there's a portal here. I see a portal there, so I probably need to. Uh, that's the Im the image that immediately comes to mind. Yeah. Um, there's a portal here, so I, I need to get. I see what I need to do. This is where. This is actually really. Okay, I actually kind of really like this. So what I need to do is not get hit by that, first of all. Okay, let's try this. Maybe we can get in one try. I doubt it, but we'll see. You never know. Um, okay. And then I got to go over here. Cool. Oh, sure. Oh, and the, the thing respawned. I would have had that had that stupid thing not respawn. So I gotta take care of the... Okay, I gotta take care of that guy, too. So I basically gotta kill that enemy before the projectile gets there. Otherwise, it kills its own enemy. Okay, get up there. I hope that worked. Okay. And... Oh, no, he's not there anymore. We're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, I don't know if that was... Ah, too far away. Dang, okay. Let's try it again. Man, this is really, like, um... I, I can't believe I'm saying this, because usually this, like, doesn't bother me. Respawning enemies never has never bothered me. I mean, I like Ninja Gaiden, for fuck's sake. Um, but this is... That's annoying. Like, I really don't like the respawning enemies in this, because they just they show up in the most inconvenient spots. Actually, they wouldn't be bad if they didn't take, like, six hits to kill. Maybe I should just use that charge move more often. I should make that my main, like, source of attack, I think. But um, I don't want to waste it, though. That's the thing. Oh, hell, that didn't even kill him in one hit. Hmm. That doesn't even work. What's with... What's with... En enemy... What's with all these games I've been playing lately? They have, like, enemies where it's, like... They take so many... So many hits to kill. I don't understand that. Like, in a game like this, like, what's the point? Just to mash the button more? I don't know. Make you feel like you're doing more than you are? I Like, I don't get it. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can get this. Don't mess me up, Mr. Slug, or whatever you are. Cool. We're good. I just never really care much for that. I prefer lots of enemies that are easy to kill than 
over few enemies that take tons of hits. Because I'm not doing it, you know, I'm still just doing this. The hit one button, what's the point? I guess there, I guess if there wouldn't, I guess if, um, if you didn't hit them, if it didn't take multiple hits, there'd be no point in upgrades, you know, but, mm, okay, I already did this one, I think, yeah, a tiny little common enemy, uh, with a health bar, yeah, that's just kind of weird, you know, I don't know, I just keep thinking, like, how am I, I keep thinking certain games, Certain like classic games, you know, like how, how like how fun would Mario be if every Goomba took six stomps? You know what I mean? Like that would be that would be awful. You know, what I mean? it's like no, or 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 specifically if you play Mario and like say there's for every for every like set of three Goombas, there's like maybe one, and they take six stomps instead of just one. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh, don't do this to me. Okay. Let's kill that thing. Get out of here. <laughs> get those experience points, boy. Okay, now I can uh, save and get a new thing. But I don't know. I haven't... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just... I don't know anything about the... Uh, I know there's a reason they probably do it. You know, I don't know anything about the design aspect. You know, I'm just saying for what's fun for me personally, um, I I've never understood, like, common enemies taking so many hits. I've also never understood, also for that matter, I've never stood, I never understood first person shooters where enemies have health bars, like for the most part, like I love Bioshock, but, um, I played plenty of games where you shoot them in the head. They don't die instantly. It's like you shoot them in the head. They have a health bar. You have to just deplete the health bar no matter what. I've always thought that was stupid too. I've never liked that. If that's one reason I can never get into Borderlands. Because everything has a health bar. Because it's so like RPG like, I guess. Uh, allows Ray to use to also use dash in the air. Okay, cool. Uh, requires double jump, charge. Fl oh. Oh, it requires two points. So I got to get all the. I'll get that sure. But I don't know. I don't know if anybody feels the same way with me for, uh, as I do about that stuff, but I'm sure there's some some people out there. It's like ninja games, especially. I really like ninja games, but if if all the enemies can't be killed, like if all the like common small enemies can't be killed in one slash, it's just it's just boring. Because then you spend all your time just slashing and slashing and slashing, and that's that's it. That becomes the whole game. It's just mashing a button. Can I get that? Yeah, I can. Right. Well, I guess I can't get that. I don't know how to get that. I'll come back later. That was it. That one was way easier. That one was like way easy. I was expecting something a little better than that. All right. What time is it? 2.33? All right. Yeah, I'll probably call it here in a minute. Um, said another short stream. About an hour. Give me time to like, give me time to put this video. Um, I'll make this into a YouTube video and then I'll post it um, before I go to work. But all right, uh, all right. Here comes the water. What am I doing? Oh, I guess I had to do something there. Uh, gotcha. Okay. Uh, did I go the wrong way? Yes, I did. Uh, how did that not go? That was weird. <laughs> that was very strange. I could have swore I had that. Ow. Okay. Oh, I gotta wait on him to spit the thing out. That's crazy. In a in a time of in a time of like urgency, you gotta wait on the uh, the enemy. That's pretty funny. Uh, wrong way. Hit that. Okay. Yeah, that water killed the hell out of me the first time. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. Hmm. Oh, fuck. I hit. I just hit right on it. I thought I did pretty good there. The other way. Excuse me, sir. Oh, she hit me. You just hit me right in the face. Why don't you? Come on, spider. Hmm. Ow, 
That hurt. Oh no, last second, it's like it switched over. That was very strange. I guess I let off of it too quick or something like that. And it, I think it registered as me like hitting it. Um, like, like sometimes it happens with controllers. Like you'll, you, when you let off the joystick so fast, it like knocks on the other side and it like registers as you like hitting it or whatever. So I think that I actually think that's what I did on that one because it kind of jerked around I ended up flying the other direction but I somehow saved myself very luckily so ah, that was really cool that was the coolest part of the game so far in my opinion uh, I like that oh sorry about that mic sound that was a really cool part that was exciting that was very exciting Oh shit, is this, there he is, there's that giant owl. Thing is huge. Or, it's normal size owl to us humans. Think about that. It makes this whole thing seem less like, you know, epic. <laughs> oh, what do you do? Knock shit at me. Oh, he's probably gonna save me. Yeah, I think he's trying to swoop in. Do you have to fight this owl? I have no idea. Well, see, I think that's the owl who saved me. So I don't think you have to fight him. I think he's a friend. Mm-hmm. I think he's like a friend or whatever. All right. Continue delivering us from uncertain fate. Okay. Look at all this. This is a really pretty scene here. Right here, I feel like I'm looking into an aquarium. Like this is really nice. Uh, the element of winds next. Uh, resting deep within the uh, forlorn ruins inside the misty woods. There's a key to open the gate. Cool. And uh, I'm going to call it right here. As soon as it lets me save, I'm going to save and I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, but anyway, thanks for everybody for uh, coming by or whoever's watching. And um, we'll continue this. Pick this up tomorrow, possibly. I'm going to try to pick it up tomorrow. So um, until then... Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And um, I'll see you then, I guess. Appreciate it. See you guys later.